I mean, are you as bullish to say it's going to go to a million dollars of Bitcoin? What do you make of his? Well, Bitcoin? sure, yeah. I mean, um, there are only 21 million uh, Bitcoin, and the whole economy is going to be, most of the economy is going to be using Bitcoin's uh, blockchain, right? Blockchain, uh, Bitcoin is a reward system to hold up this uh, incredible new database. That's the blockchain. That's a public database, immutable. And, uh, you know, it clears trades in a uh, few moments compared to three days. Uh, uh, smart contracts are going to run the world pretty soon, run the econo economic world pretty soon. Um, like we're in the Flintstones now. We're going to be headed to the Jetsons any moment. All right. Chris, what do you have to say in response to that? Uh, well, I, I don't know why he didn't say it was worth 10 million or a billion or infinity. I mean, that's it's hard to speculate that far into the future. I think there's a lot of challenges along the way. The reality is that there are rules, regulations. The SEC was out today. The IRS has been out earlier that may present some challenges to the unbridled growth. I think I'd also separate the technology from the use of the technology. Technology is actually pretty interesting, very cool. I think a lot of the things that Nick said definitely agree with. The use as a currency or use as a medium of exchange, I think, has a lot of other issues associated. So that separation is an important one. Nick, um, maybe you can try to, to bridge the connection between Bitcoin and the technology. You know, as Chris is talking about here, you said it's, it, Bitcoin is obviously kind of the reward system for maintaining this technology, which is going to have widespread adoption. But... Has that technology become more than a thousand percent more likely to get huge during the course of this year? So, uh, in other words, is the currency and the adoption of the technology running hand in hand, or is the is the price running ahead of it? Well, the consensus model of uh, Bitcoin works out because there's so many more participants than any other blockchain. You can't just throw a blockchain on your USB drive in your pocket and think you're secure. Or something. It's a very slow database. Okay. Um, all these people. Uh, miners wanting the Bitcoin uh, uh, create uh, uh, an immutable uh, database that would take millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars, hundreds of millions of dollars to try to attempt to change it for a few moments and it would go back to the original blockchain. So that's where the, the value of Bitcoin is. You can't, it's like having a Ferrari and you rip out the engine and stick a golfer on, the, on a wheel on there, you know? It's, it's just the blockchain. The blockchain, Bitcoin is a reward system for sure. the miners to hold up the blockchain. The, uh, Chris? Go ahead. What were you going to say? I was going to say it sounds a little bit like something, you know, funny happened along the way to the forum. The, the idea that uh, things will continue on a straight path is, is very rare in finance or in new technologies. There's often bumps in the road. So I think Nick brought up a good point about the technology. Um, it's right now fairly ubiquitous. It's easy to do. It's a good point about security. I think according to some databases, there's more than 2,500 uh, coin offerings out there. So while well, Bitcoin has a bit of a first mover advantage, uh, the reality is there are a lot of other competitors. Uh, that are out there as well. So the technology, like I said earlier, I think is the important key. It's just not clear kind of where the winners lie over a 20-year horizon. Yeah, Nick, I mean, Bitcoin's so yesterday. It's all about Litecoin now. And tomorrow it'll be about <laughs> someone else. And then the next day it'll be about Ethereum someone else. Ethereum or something, and... right? Yeah. Well, the reality is Bitcoin is the golden goose of uh, the cryptocurrencies because if you own Bitcoin, uh, every time it forks, you get a whole bunch of new money out of nowhere, pretty much, because uh, they, uh, you know, they reward uh, the participants. And when the participants that already own the Bitcoin will get the new uh, Bitcoin cash or get the new Bitcoin gold. Well, that's why I don't think, uh, you know, the uh, Chicago Mercantile Exchange stuff uh, selling these futures that uh, 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 they pay out in dollars. No one wants the dollars because the dollars aren't going to give birth to new uh, cryptocurrencies. But right now, ironically, I don't know, the people, the people are downloading the Coinbase price. app and they're talking about pricing in dollars and staring at what their Bitcoin is worth in dollars. <laughs> they seem to care about the dollar. Oh, yeah, yeah, they care about the, uh, the value of it. But what I'm saying is the dollar is not going to give birth to another cryptocurrency. Uh, every time we fork, uh, uh, there's another uh, cryptocurrency there that as an owner of Bitcoin, you get this new cryptocurrency, you know, $1,800 each or something out of the blue. So people are missing the point, you know, and there's only uh, 21 million Bitcoin that are going to occur, that are going to be released from the blockchain by the year 2140. Um, I believe it's more, Bitcoin is a, is a declaration of the people's uh, monetary independence. Uh, we control the money peer to peer, and there's no one in the middle, no banks, no governments. I mean, banks, you know, they're going to be, uh, you know, like a blockbuster video pretty soon. I mean, people are going to laugh, but uh, I was there. Uh, in the past when the internet took over, 
And uh, I knew all the businesses that were going to disappear, and uh, same with uh, banks. We, we got to go, but Chris, we'll give you just a quick last word in response to that. Uh, banks have been around a long time. Uh, fiber optics were supposed to be everywhere in the 90s. They're not. So the reality is rules and regulations may be part of what we have to assess uh, before these things become viable investments. Last piece, um, once you get the rules and the regulations in place and they're already starting down the road, Bitcoin may be a security and not a currency. That's an important distinction because the rules are different. Right. You can't outlaw prime numbers. Right? Bitcoin's about math. True. All right, gentlemen, thank you. Nick Spanos, Chris Wolf joining us to debate Bitcoin. Thank you.